today I'm going to go over how I use wood scraps that we had left over from building our house. I don't like to throw anything away and I come up with some really cute ideas and I'm going to show them to you plus a few other ideas. I made these two bird houses from leftover wood from the house. The Amish had some two by fours that weren't the same dimension so they trimmed off the side and they made great roofing idea. This one I used a wood burner and ended the lines and made it look like a barn. When you're making bird houses, you want to make sure you can make the bottom come off. This one's put on with screws and be sure and drill some drain, drainage holes in them for, for the bird's health. This one, I did the same thing, only I stenciled it and I added, I glued on a little bird on the side just for de decoration. But I did the same thing. If I want to put it outside, I can. Or you could, or you could make the bottom with hinges. Another idea, if you don't have the little wood scraps, is when you put up mini blinds and you're adjusting them to the size of your window. I did not throw them away. I saved them. You could take them and use finishing nails and nail them on. I don't know if a glue would hold this PVC stuff or not, but after you get these layered up to the top, I would put a bead of silicone at the very top here to make sure that you're sealing it so that water doesn't come in. Old fashioned carpenter tool caddies. They make great storage. This one's got my dog patterns in it. And as you can see, I've got a handle on the top. This was a leftover from a closet rod. And then I just trimmed angles and screwed in the handle from the ends. I've seen some where they, they took a whole cutter and cut out and then had it attached that way. But this is much easier. You can also put little blocks of wood in for dividers and use it for storage for your silverware in your kitchen. Again, this one's just a little bit different. The handle's higher. I use them for storage in my craft room. If you're very artistic, you can take even scrap wood and make it for a plaque to hang on the wall for decoration. I'm not very good at wood burning. I have a friend that's excellent. She has, takes slices of logs and then does wildlife on them. But you can take a wood burner, burn in your design, use an oil pencil and color it in and then take like a paper towel and, and rub it in so your lines aren't quite so prevalent. This takes some practice because the white, white areas are softer and it burns in easier than the dark areas. So this is not my favorite thing to do, but if you were very artistic and wanted to do that, um, you can use coloring books for designs. You can go onto your Google images and get free clip art where you can do, you can decorate any way you want to. And the way you can hang it cheaply is just drill a couple holes at the top, take a ribbon, tie a knot in it, and then have it, have it be able to hang up. But I just did this as for an idea. Another thing I've done is you can get these rub-on, if you're not very artistic, you can get rub-on transfers and decorate wood. I got this little box at a flea market. And just spray it with polyurethane. Get a can of spray polyurethane to seal it. Come visit me next week. Be sure and subscribe and like. Have a good day.